Hi Excel users, in this video I am going to solve a very important question of Excel that how we can merge or consolidate data from different seats. Let me show you the data first. So in the first seat we have technical team, in that we have department name and their salary. Second seat we have for management team and third seat we have for support team. Now we have to consolidate or merge all the tables in this master table seat. So step one, first convert all the seat data into a table. So here I have already converted all the seats data into a table. So to check the name, click on the table. You will be having another menu that is table design. Click on table design and here I have given the table name, technical department. If we go into management seat, so it is management department and the third seat is support. So it is support department. Step two, copy the column header and paste in the master table seat. Now here we are going to use V stack formula and this formula is available in Office 365. So if you are Office 365 user, you can use it directly. If you are using earlier version, so you can just comment which Excel version you are using. So the next video I will try to create for that. Now let me show you how to do this. Let me zoom it first. Here we will write is equal to V stack. Now we will pass the first array. So first array I am going to pass technical department, comma. Second array we have management department and third array we have support department. Simply close the bracket and hit the enter. So you can see all the data has been merged here. Now, if you update the details in any of the table, that will be updated here automatically. Let me show you. Let's suppose I am adding one more row in support table. Let's see Bob has been updated in the master table or not. Go into master table. So here you can see one row added for Bob. So this way you can merge or consolidate multiple seed data into one table using vstack function. So if this video is informative for you, so you can like, share and if you have not subscribed yet, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel for more upcoming Excel videos. Thank you.